Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil, and today we're going to discuss a little bit about the Dallas Cowboys versus the New York Giants. And come on, guys, they're the New York Giants. So this is that's it for this week, guys. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil. Thank you for subscribing. I'm just playing with you guys. Honestly, rivalry games, they, they should mean more, and they should honestly be more competitive, but I don't really see this game being that. With the New York Giants not really having their offensive weapons and I put that in parentheses because Daniel Jones isn't, again, the best quarterback, but he's better than Glennon, and Glennon will be starting because Daniel Jones is still hurt. Tooney, the wide receiver that kind of put it to us last time before the punching and all that before the first game, he's not going to be playing as well, too. So those are some weapons that they did have, even though they're not the greatest weapons. So this offense going against this defense is playing really well, and you got a guy like Demarcus Lawrence, that does have the foot thing, but honestly, that shouldn't be a problem that they're saying. And uh, and that's the part that I was talking about with those guys being available to us. Will they be able to stay healthy? This offense, I think that's going to be the big story about this. Defense of the New York Giants isn't the biggest and baddest thing in the NFL. So this offense should be able to experiment some in the sense of getting on the same page, whether it's the quarterback, going to the receiver, making sure you're doing the same routes on your zone coverages. I think the man coverages, these wide receivers can beat them all day. It's the zone coverages that they don't make a lot of the right decisions. So I think a lot of time, if you don't have something to execute well, you, this offense for the other team isn't very high power. So you don't have to be in the, in the thing where if we don't score every single drive, we're not in the game like you would against other teams. So this is, again, like one of those games that you can get back on the rhythm. But again, you can't you know fool around too much because these are rivalry games. And you saw in New York take it to Philly last time. And honestly, New York's not going to lay down. They're going to try to give us their best. And the problem is, is that is their best going to be good enough? I don't think so. I don't think they're a great team. So hopefully Dallas should be able to really put it to New York. And I don't see it, again, being close. I, I really see Dallas honestly putting up a 40-burger because I think this offense can get in the flow with this defense again when the defenses get better will the offense stay in that flow that's the question offensive line will they stay on the same page when it comes to blocking and and just getting making sure Dak is feeling comfortable back in that pocket to make good decisions and honestly hopefully give them that time to give that accurate pass because that's kind of been his flaw right now and so you know everybody on the offense being on the same page is going to be the biggest thing coming out of this game can we go forward to teams like washington and arizona and give them a better offense than what we've had in the past month so again i'm primetime phil thank you for subscribing i appreciate all the support guys hit that like button on your way out but don't forget to always raheem that bell